Hey guys and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually turn on your PC touch screen. Okay. And um, currently, as you can see, if I should touch my screen, this is not working. The touch screen is not working. But this is simply because my PC hasn't got touch screen. However, I'm going to show you how you can turn yours on in case your PC has this feature. Secondly, I'll also show you how to turn on the pretty looking, you know, uh, keyboard uh, backlight, okay, that you enjoy. And I just turn off the lights, look at how pretty it's looking. I mean, if I actually wake in the dark, like a nocturnal human being, you know. <laughs> so, for you, those guys who like working in the dark, I recommend you get in a PC with what? keyboard backlights so i'll also show you how you can also turn on your keyboard backlights okay it's very very simple by the way like i said make sure please make sure your pc has these features else you you should not come back and blame me that you tried and it's not working it might be simply because your pc hasn't got these features let's start with turning on the touch screen it's very simple okay by the way, the PC that you see in here, how do you, is it gorgeous? Please let me know if it's gorgeous. This is HP uh, NV. I cannot tell you the exact model, but it's NV17. I cannot tell you the details of the model. I actually know it, but it's so, the name is so long, but it's one of the latest HP NV models. And it comes with um, Intel Core i7 processor. Nvidia graphic card meaning it's very good for gaming and also good for your office work. If you have a storage capacity of hard disk of one terabyte and um, speed of 2.9 gigahertz the CPU and we're talking of um, what else 16 gig RAM so this is a very powerful PC honestly speaking it's very fast. The screen resolution is perfect because it's a 17.3 inches laptop with LED, the IPS, whatever, full HD screen. So the screen resolution is very nice. And um, it comes with Mac, is it MA, Afi, whatever, life safe antivirus, which we enjoy for one year. It comes also with um, free Adobe Pack, okay, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, all the Adobe Pack, you can enjoy it for a month, okay, and after which you can extend the license, and also comes with Windows 11, already installed, and you also enjoy um, Microsoft Office, the Office 365 for free for a month after which you can extend the license anyway i've already made a review about this laptop and even the green laptop called uh, asa aspire vero so you can check that out on my channel quickly let's try to look at how you can actually turn on the touch screen first of all and then we look at the keyboard backlights so this uh, turn on this touch screen is very simple come to your start menu okay and just simply come and type come and type what um, device manager okay and then you simply click on device manager right here so you click on device manager okay now when you click on the device manager this dialog box opens and then all you have to do is to simply come and click on this one here human um human interface devices okay now when you click on human interface devices normally if the touch screen were active or were uh, integrated or part of this pc you would have seen something like hid uh, compliance consumer something something touch screen but over here you don't have any of that here so in case you don't find it here then it's simply because 
you cannot touch it, uh, turn it on simply because your PC hasn't got touch screen, like in my case. So there's no need worrying about turning on touch screen. So I personally don't want touch screen on my PC, so but that is up to you. If your PC has it, this is how you can turn it on. Over here you see it and you just turn it on. So let's move on to something else. And um, with regards to, let me close this dialog box. With regards to the keyboard backlights, it's very, very simple. If I should, let's enjoy it once again. Let's just go off. Let's go off. Let's go off, guys. Let's go off, guys. And there it goes. Now, when it's like this, how do you actually turn it on? It's very, very simple. Okay. Over here, you have this particular key here which is the um, f4 key okay so on the f4 key function key 4 if i should press on it sorry f4 not the f4 key is right here okay if i should press on it it dims what the light and then if i should press on it again it turns off the keyboard backlight. So if I should press on it again, it turns it on. I press on it, then it dims it. And then you press again, it turns it off. But please note that this depends, okay? Some, uh, this, like I told you, this is HP Pavilion, sorry, HP MV. And on HP MV, the, um, what do you call it? The keyboard, uh, backlight um, switch is actually found on the function key F4. In some HP MV laptops, you may find it on um, F5, function key 5, or on other laptops, it may be found on any other key or elsewhere, you know. So please bear with me. And um, don't just, in case, for instance, let me switch on the light and just to show you, okay, so that it'll be clear. So as you can see over here, this is how it is. So, sorry, I want to zoom it properly. So on my laptop, you see that we have the function key 4 here, okay, F4 here. And then you'll see that the keyboard is drawn and then we have what? You know lights on it mean that's what you so if i should press just press on it this way okay where is it if i should just press on it then it dims it it turns it off it turns it on in that order thank you so much for watching i hope this helped please subscribe bye